What's going on everybody? I am Zach with Blades LLC. Today we're going to be working on the 18 horse Billy Goat debris loader. It started making some funny noises at the end of last year so we're going to be diving into that. But before we do, I spend a lot of time editing these videos, filming these videos for you guys. So if you would, give me a huge thumbs up there down below. Drop a comment at the end of this video. Let me know if it was helpful. Also let me know if you have any questions in regards to this. This is a great machine but we did start to have some issues with it at the end of last year. It was functioning well, but it was making a very loud rattling noise. We noticed it more on the lower RPM side of things when you revved the motor up. I, I couldn't tell if the motor was just drowning out the rattling noise or if something was like wobbling in there, vibrating, and when you'd get it up to higher RPM, it kind of leveled itself out. I'm not super familiar with these, but I have done the diagnosis on this, so we do already know what's going on, and uh, we're gonna dive into it here. I'm gonna show you what uh, happened inside this debris loader. All right, so the very first thing we did was I took the hose off, and what we did is we took off all these uh, nuts on the outside here, including this one here. So I'm gonna pull this off real quick, and then I'll be right back with you. All right, so I used a metric 13 to take these off, but these I believe are a standard size nut. Uh, whatever the equivalent to that would be is what it would be in standard. So uh, I'm gonna bring you guys in here and uh, give you the scoop on what happened. All right, so as you can see here, there is a plastic liner in here and it's meant to wear. And you can see that it did. We're in a really sandy area here, so this does not surprise me. This billy goat is two years old. And as you can see, it's been through the ringer. So we gotta get this replaced. So the fin was actually chewing out the plastic in here. I also would assume, I'm not an engineer, but I'm pretty good at telling how things work. And I bet this uh, kind of deadens the sound too, as well as taking some of the wear. So I'm gonna, I was thinking about just welding a, a metal liner in here, which we could have done also, but then I'm like, well, it probably also deadens the noise too. So that's kind of, this machine is pretty loud. So anything to help deaden that up. This is the new liner. We're located in central Minnesota. We have a Billy Goat dealer about 45 minutes away from my house here, A1 Power, and they hooked us up with this. Not really hooked us up, we paid, I wanna say around a couple hundred dollars for this. So kinda crazy, a couple hundred dollars for a piece of plastic and a little bit of hardware. But that's kinda how things are going these days, guys. So make sure you're charging a good amount for your cleanups because all the equipment that it takes to do it uh, is ridiculous. And it's also very hard on your equipment, especially in sandier areas like here. So just something to something to keep in the back of your mind, you know. You almost have to do a full cleanup just to pay for something like this. So kind of ridiculous. But we're going to replace it here. I think I'm going to tackle this. These are Allen bolt screws here. And then the nuts are on the back side. So I was just thinking, I don't know, I might take the grinder in there if I can get it in there because those are worn out. Or maybe I'll try to clamp a vice grip on and then I'll undo the nut from the backside because the nuts are in good shape, but the Allen bolts are not. I'm gonna play around with this here a little bit. I'm not gonna pretend like I've done this before because I haven't. So we're gonna do it and then I'll fill you guys in as to kind of what worked for me and what didn't. So we're gonna get to work here. All right, so I'm glad I didn't film that because it wasn't very pretty. This is what it looks like. Do you wanna share with you that it was easier to take the impeller off? I believe that was a 9 16 bolt holding that on. Piranha blade on the outside and then that. So took that off, then all these were easy to get at and it's relatively simple. What we found to work the best was I did use my cutoff wheel in here and I was either able to cut them off or I don't know if we can get the camera to focus in on this or not. This screw, what I do is I grind a flathead slot in the end of the screw and then I use a little setup like this with the vice grip 
and the flathead and that seemed to work pretty good and then I just used the impact gun to whack them off on the outside. So I think this should be free. And it's out, just like that. Get all that out. So we have a nice clean surface to work with. All right, so I'm gonna take a few minutes here, get this thing cleaned out, and then I'll be back with you guys for the install, which should be pretty simple, and then we'll fire it up so you guys can listen to her run. All right, so it's time for it to go in. So I'm gonna fish this side, so you can see that there's holes and then a pretty long stretch. On this side, the holes are at the end. This is gonna go, so the holes that are with the shorter end, are gonna go, they're gonna kinda curve in here and this part is gonna go up into the chute. So we're gonna stuff that up in there. And this thing's pretty flexible, so not terrible there. And I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start on this top one. So what you're gonna wanna do is the washer is gonna go on the Allen bolt side like this. And then it's going to go up through the plastic and then you're going to put your hex nut on the top. Okay, so we're going to just repeat that now going around and uh, we're going to want to leave everything loose so do not tighten this until you are done getting all the bolts in. Okay, so they are all on. See, they're all still loose. We'll go through, tighten all those babies up, and we'll be good to go. And then we'll put the impeller back on. We're gonna fire it up. Let's do it. Well, clearly I didn't get this video all shot in one day, so we're gonna finish it off real quick here. Just real briefly, I wanted to show you guys, give you guys a little bit of an update. We had our trailer uh, stickered up, both sides and the back, they all look like this, so kinda neat there. But uh, I promised you guys that we'd go fire up that billy goat, so I'm gonna run back there. We're gonna fire that thing up. Got it done the other day and uh, she sounds a little bit better, so let's check it out. All right, here we go. Hey, what are you doing up there? See him? There he is.